Well, this is uh, the Buzz UG, and uh, my name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Uh, today, I'm starting with uh, the stories making headlines in the entertainment industry. Uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, legendary Awila Longomba from uh, the DRC has arrived in the country. He's expected to perform alongside the Afrigo band as they celebrate their 48-year journey on Saturday. Uh, the concert is happening at Kampala Sheraton Hotel. If you can, please go have fun on that day and celebrate with the legends. Well, still coming in from uh, the entertainment industry, uh, Ugandans on a different social media platforms are very happy that Alien Skin, the new kid on the block, is going to have a collaboration with uh, Fia Motoni. Ugandans have appreciated him for giving a helping hand to the old musicians who haven't been on the entertainment scene for quite some time and have been regarded as faded artists. Yes, so Ugandans are saying, big upon yourself, Alien Skin. Now, away from uh, the entertainment industry, uh, the body of Muse William Birugaba, also known as Jaja NUP, has been repatriated back in the country from the US where he died last month. It was received at Entebbe Airport by top NUP leaders. The burial will take place on Saturday in Kabale. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Now, yesterday, the deputy spokesperson of uh, UPDF, Kanodeo Akiki, revealed that the UPDF has kicked off investigations into circumstances under which a UPDF soldier in Chitugum district shot his wife and later turned the gun onto himself. The soldier has been identified as Odwani Henry and the wife Grace Imalingat. Deo Akiki condemned the act but also requested soldiers to utilize the structures in the forces to solve the misunderstandings in their families without the use of guns. Well, if you have been following my updates right here on the Buzz UG, you remember last month I did a story similar to this one. A UPDF soldier in Fort Porto shot his two colleagues and injured another one, but he was later arrested and arraigned before the court martial. And by the way, let's be honest, this year gun violence in Uganda has been on another level. We don't know what the leaders in the security forces are up to about this issue, but something must be done. Many Ugandans think that these security guys need a lot of attention because there could be a problem in their camp. Now, away from that, we all know that some opposition members right here in Uganda have accused President Museveni of surrounding himself with his family members in key government positions and uh, the president of Rwanda seems to be taking the same direction. The latest update coming in from Rwanda, uh, President Paul Kagame has appointed his daughter to take charge of policy and strategy in the office of the president. Uh, first of all, Kagame's daughter has a master's degree in international affairs from Columbia University and she's going to be advising his father on the key economic policies and strategies. It should be remembered that uh, earlier this year, President Kagame's son, Ian Kagame, joined the Presidential Guard after he graduated from Sandhurst Royal Military Academy and in the recent times, Ian Kagame has been overseeing his father's security detail. But some people on social media are not happy about this latest appointment. They are questioning that why is it that African presidents are good at these games of appointing their family members into top government positions? And other people are saying that, but if the family member has the qualifications, what is wrong with the president appointing them for that particular position? So this is a discussion on different social media platforms, especially on Twitter. And I thought I should pass by and uh, keep you posted on this one. And of course, if you have anything you want to say about it, the comment section is very open for you. Yeah, so those are some of uh, the biggest stories I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, uh, but also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, follow me on TikTok, uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. And of course, it is a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.